This is Inside Video Review for Week 24, which covers the games from the first week of August. I'm Greg Barkey, Pro's Manager of Video Review. Eight reviews in 20 games. They resulted after review in three goals and two penalties being awarded, while two goals were rescinded. And this red card, shown for a denial of an obvious goal-scoring opportunity, being changed to a yellow card in Red Bull Arena. Penalty is given. And let's see Red. what he gives. Red card? Red. Oh, okay. Because it's up high. Go. I'll tell you where to stop it. Go back, go back, go back. I want to see the point of contact. 25%, 25%. So right there. And then keep it going. It's frame by frame, frame by frame. I want to see where he releases him. So hold on. So one frame, one frame back. One frame back. Right. One frame back. Right there. But look at this other. Go frame forward, frame forward. One more. Right there. Stop it there. So I have him on the line. Now, is it Doxo? There's a player right there, in my opinion. If you play it at full speed, he's going. Okay, go back. Them, I go. Think. Okay, so I have I have penalty you're, confirmed. You're, it's on the line, so penalty confirmed. So, yes. No, 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 Oof, no. I think it's no. There's a player right there that might be challenging. Give me the right where I told you to stop it. Go forward. So I have penalty confirmed, but I don't have red card. Right. Hey Drew, so we have the the penalty is confirmed. We're, so we're checking for possible Doxo because there was another player. Hold on, give us a second. Okay. So go back and let it play normal speed. No, I think there's a defender. Drew, yeah. so I'm going to recommend an off-field review for not Doxo, but the penalty is confirmed. Back it up. I got you. I see the point of contact, Mondo. I just need to see the whole action. Okay, come back, come back. Let it play normal speed. This is normal speed, Drew. One more. So, so, so this is your point Back of this is when the foul happens and the players coming in. I understand. I just want to see for dogs, Armando. Okay, go back. Go back. I got you. N not right there. there. Play at normal oh, speed. Play. Let it. Let it play. I got you. Okay, I'm happy with yellow. Okay. okay. Still penalty, but it is yellow. Yes. Okay. Colorado defender Lalas Abubakar grabbed Mukinia's shoulders from behind in a desperate attempt to stop him, and the holding continued into the penalty area. This was a very clear penalty kick offense, which the referee correctly sanctioned. However, in relation to the red card for Dogso, the VAR concluded that Colorado defender Danny Wilson, who was moving towards the play from a few yards to the right, was close enough to potentially have the ability to challenge the Red Bull player. Reducing this from an obvious goal scoring opportunity to stopping a promising attack. Viewed in normal speed, there does not appear to be an obvious goal scoring opportunity due to the location and movement of Wilson. The referee correctly changed the red card to a yellow card for stopping a promising attack. In the 36th minute of Cincinnati versus Philadelphia, a goal was scored by FC Cincinnati's Brenner. Good. Okay, Matt, start the AVP. Plan 100%. He's on side. And then this kick. Uh, go back to the kick point, please. And I want to make sure that it didn't. Uh, he Is he on side to you? Stop. Is that kick point? Yes, it is. Let's get the kick point. Go back. One forward. 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 Book that. Kick point. Book it. Book it. Book what do you have? I have him as on. You can't tell. On field decision is good. I'll play it through the rest of it. Yeah, and slow it down. I want to make sure he doesn't hit any part of his hand. Oh, no, so do we have anything that says Still point looking. of contact is a header? It's close, so I don't know. Yeah, play it through, play it through, play it through. Header, down, to the ground, and... Here's a, a, a bow on top left, top left. Go ahead, Still slow looking, it down. Slow it down right here, Jacob, and it goes there. right... Is that handling to you? Is that his arm? Yep, you're up, you're up. right there, Still side that, of his arm. That hits his arm, and it goes directly into goal. Okay. That's uh, handling. Attacker yeah. handball. Drew, this is Eunice. I'm going to recommend. Drew. Can you hear me? I'm going to recommend a review for handling in the APP leading to a goal. Okay, back up. Back up one. Yeah, I see this. I need okay. to go back and then yeah, I want you to was, go he slow. Was. Very he was very close, forward. but. Okay. Okay, go ahead. One more. Okay, I want you to take me to the point of contact. Frame by right. frame from here. Okay, right there is the point of contact. Go ahead, forward, 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 forward. Okay, handball. I like that. Thank you. Handball. The VAR saw that the ball had entered the net 
directly from contact with the right arm of Brenner as he fell forward after the challenge with Philadelphia goalkeeper Andre Blake. Even though Brenner had not intentionally handled the ball, and regardless of the fact that his actions were completely natural, it is still an offense if the ball enters the goal directly from contact with an attacker's hand. This was a very good use of video review system to rectify an error which was impossible for the referee to have seen live. This goal scored by Nashville's Walker Zimmerman was disallowed for an offside infraction by his teammate Luke Hawkinson. Oh, hey, so oh, oh. Okay then. Hold on. Hold on. What's the call yes. on the field? Ready? Wait. Yes. Offside. Offside is the, right, call the, on the call field. on the field. The call on the field is offside. All right, we're checking this one. Let's go to work here. Uh, go back to the kick point. Okay, so he starts in an offside, right? He's no offside in a in a corner kick, so you cannot right. punish so this player. In a, get to the let's header. get to that one. Okay, now let's get into the header. Yeah. yeah. Let's get the uh, behind the goal. I want to see if it is book it. Yeah, book it. Okay, let's see if it impacts the vision of the goalkeeper here. Okay, let let it play through. Hold on. I I don't have an offside here. I I do not have offside. Yeah, I do not he's have not, an offside here. He's not in the goalkeeper's view, Focus and view. he's not yeah. close to the goalkeeper. Okay, Alan, are we going to recommend a review for no offside? Good goal. Okay. So those two images right there. We're going to okay. start with the first one, the, the, the left 18. 18. Okay. And then we're going to go with the left goal. Okay, here we go. Go back with the first image. Okay, so Alan, this is the point of contact. Okay. You want to start from the. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. The VAR checked the offside decision and could see that Hawkinson was to the right of Toronto goalkeeper Bono. At no point did Hackinson block his view of the ball, nor did he make any action that could have interfered with Bono's ability to make a save. There was no interfering with an opponent infraction, and the goal was correctly awarded after review. In the 19th minute of the game between Miami and Montreal, play was allowed to continue after this aerial challenge between Mason Toye and Christopher McVeigh. Possible, hand. Possible handball. Goal kick. Slow. You want to delay? Delay, head, delay, 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 arm. delay. Arms up. Arm, the arm is up. Off his arm right there? It's off his arm right there. This does it uh, come off the, left 18. Does it come off? Does it come off comes his off back the, first? Comes off, no, it comes off the defender. Or it comes off the attacker's head to the hand. Uh, top left is another look. I think this bottom left 18 is the best one. Yes, I agree. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Kevin... This is KT. I recommend a review for handball. Left 18. I have left 18. Let's freeze it on the contact point. Show me. Just point a contact point. Is that good? That's perfect. Just left 18. Blow it up, please. Oops, sorry. Let me know when you're ready. I'm here, Brent. Give me two or, second, two or three seconds back, Brent. Right here. Slow. 25%. Play. Easy. Play one more time. He's already left the booth. He's good. McVeigh's raised left arm had blocked Toye's headed shot. McVeigh's arm was raised to head height and was unnaturally positioned to make himself bigger. After seeing the footage for himself, the referee correctly awarded a penalty to Montreal. That's inside video review for week 24. For Pro's opinion on the other reviews from this week, please read the definitive angle at ProReferees.com.